Welcome to 49 Sports Games. On the turf football is differentiated from quick decks football in that you have defensive play calling, you have special plays for defense, and you have special plays for offense. Now I'm gonna cover the defensive special plays in another video. Right now, I just want to show the different offensive special plays that there are. And there are reference charts that cover the offensive plays. And they're also, of course, in the rule book. So you can get enough description. You can always email me too. Now let's take a look at these offensive plays. You have two screen passes. One is just a regular screen pass, which is a short pass. Same with a bubble screen, which is a short pass. So you're going to start with your receiver, which is a short pass, and whoever you choose. And I like to, of course, roll a D20 and choose from the column there to see who's going to be getting the screen. And, and so that's a short pass, that's screen, and that's check down. So you go down this column here, which is the screen. You can see that the regular screen pass is going to work against a blitzing defense and even better against an aggressive blitzing defense, where a bubble screen is where the receiver is out in the flats and the quarterback chucks it out to the flat. And that works best in 49 on the turf football against a basic defense. So, you know, first down, a lot of times a defense is going to play basic. So first down can be a pretty good time to play a bubble screen or any time you think they're going to be playing just a basic run or basic pass, a bubble screen can be a pretty effective play. And then what you would do is put your marker on your receiver what the defense calls, if the defense has any special plays, and you're going to add all of those up. And I like to put the marker, say the defense was playing a basic run against a bubble screen. I put my marker right above it just so I know where to go to to look for it. And so it'd be a plus 20 on the completion percentage and also plus 20 on the yardage number. Now the screen pass, the straight screen pass is a little bit interesting because down the column for yardage number, it's got this thing called INT. Well, most people are gonna look at INT and think interception and justifiably so. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this uh, game of on the turf football, it also stands for intermediate. So you really have to differentiate. And so what happens here against like an aggressive run blitz or any of the blitzes, you're going to move over to the receiver's intermediate column to get the yardage number. So say if it was Christian Kirk and he caught the pass and you want to know the yardage number and they were playing a basic pass blitz defense, you go to the intermediate pass and plus 15 to the yardage number. So it would be 40 plus 15. His new number would be 55. So that's one of the, one little catch to watch out for on the screen passes. Now you've got play action. And play action, this is just the completion percentage, as it says up there, and I wrote it in there. Um, just as a reminder, maybe I can adjust this column a little bit. It's just going to work well against a run, a basic run. It's not going to work well against basic pass or pass. And you notice that there's no blitzes of any kind shown there. So there's no modifiers. If it's not there, there's just no modifiers for it. Uh, let's jump down to this one here. This is an interesting one, this extra pass blitzing. You can keep one basic one person in. So you're going to put your marker on there. And that lowers the pressure rating that the defense gets by minus two but it also lowers your completion percentage by minus eight because you've got less receivers out there. You can also go to more of a max protect. Maybe you're keeping a tight end and a fullback in or something like that. And the pressure then goes down minus four, but your completion percentage goes way down as well. Uh, another one down in the bottom here, and this is new for this year. I haven't played a lot with it, but a little bit. It's kind of fun. And it's an empty backfield. You know, second down and really long, third down and long. A lot of times teams will line up with five wide receivers or have four wide receivers in a tight end. If you go ahead and run the ball from those, it's usually going to be, especially if it's five wide receivers, you're just going to be doing an inside run with a quarterback and his running number is affected by a minus 20. Same with the four wide receivers, one tight end. It's going to be a quarterback run on the inside and it's a minus 15. He does go ahead and pass. It's a bump to the completion percentage. Minus one on the interception because you've got more receivers out there. But where it's really bad is pressure. Defense really gets a chance to get pressure, and that's because you don't have maybe enough blockers in to cover all the defensive players that are coming at you. And so that's, uh, that's just kind of how that works, just straight modifiers. Hail Mary is a deep pass, and two modifiers, completion percentage minus 20. Yardage is plus 20. 
And a lot of times the completion percentage is gonna go below zero, especially on these Hail Marys. And if it's zero to nine or below zero, you always use what's in the first column. Okay, and so there are actually some cards. Well, there's one there that it would be uh, pass deflection. The P stands for pass deflection. So you'd look at the defensive pass deflection and they get a chance to deflect the pass. So there's a couple in that uh, with the star. That means if a receiver uh, like Nico Collins here has got a, a plus or a star, that means he would catch it. So there are a few chances that it will happen. You have to throw a lot of them though in order to get there. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the passes. Let's look at running plays now. And we start with a draw play. The draw play works very much like a screen pass, only you know, you're running the football. So any of the blitzes, you're gonna get a plus to the yardage number. If they play a run or a basic run, it's a minus number to it. You're just gonna choose your running back, inside run, take his number, and then modify it, but whatever the defense is playing. The run pass option, this is kind of an interesting one and where you will need this chart because if the defense is playing a run defense, it says roll a D20. And when you roll a D20, you need to look in this chart right here and it shows you if it's a one to six, you're gonna do an intermediate pass. Seven to 16, a medium or 17 to 20, you're gonna throw a long pass. The good news is the completion percentage is plus eight and the yardage number is also plus eight. So I probably made that bounce a little bit, that camera. Uh, so that's why it's kind of handy to have this reference close at hand. Uh, and so the way the run pass option works, just like a regular football game, the quarterback takes a snap, does a real quick read on the defense. Hopefully he guesses right, and then he goes on with the play. Uh, so if it was a basic run, he thinks, yep, they're just in a basic run. We're gonna do a stretch run, uh, but it's a minus 12. So, you know, they maybe disguised it like it was gonna be a blitz, where then he could do a medium pass. But you think, no, I'm gonna do a run, and they turned out to be kind of watching for the run. Or same thing, conversely with a pass, it's a stretch run plus 12. So if they're playing a pass defense, he might see that and that might be a good time for them to run. So those are kind of fun things to explore. So that's run pass option, quarterbacks takes the snap and then decides based on that quick read what he's gonna do. Now the zone read is a straight running play. It's a little different, a lot different than the run pass option because it is just straight running. And you'll notice that quarterbacks on some teams have got the zone read rating uh, for their player selection chart. Right down at the bottom here, it says any pass blitz. So if defense is playing uh, basic pass blitz, the modifier is a minus five, but it also says there's no modifier from the game chart. And what that means is, where are we at? Down over here. That means these column here and I don't have the, the bottom of the charts with me here, but those, you're just gonna ignore those. You're just gonna go with a minus five. So if it's a zone read and doing a pass, but it's minus five to the running number. Last couple of plays on the offensive special plays are the jumbo package. Jumbo is a little hard to do solitaire. I do have here on these charts, they can play jumbo package. Now the pass is when they're not gonna play it too often. Here's a read pass, a run pass option chart. And so I roll a separate dice. If it's a one to three, they're in jumbo package. So I put your marker there. And now from a defensive perspective, you need to know that they're in jumbo package. So if you're calling the defensive plays, that works. If you're not calling the defensive plays, well, we'll leave it up to you whether or not you would go ahead and do a play it, it actually, these numbers modifiers aren't that great that it's gonna cause that big of a problem. But you can see where if they've got jumbo package and you go back and you play, you know, depending on the down and distance and you're playing you know, an aggressive pass blitz or you're just playing a pass defense, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna give up plus 12 on the running number. That's not that bad. So it, it will work, uh, but it just doesn't work as good as some of the other things do work. I just thought I'd point that out. Uh, but it is a fun thing because teams do run the jumbo. They're bringing extra tight ends and that plus 12 can come in handy uh, in, if you are looking for a short yardage. The last two are go out of bounds and stay in. 
So the, the results cards in the top right hand corner are going to say uh, sometimes are blank, which means they stayed in bounds or uh, none of these are go out of bounds. There's one <laughs> tells you there's um, a stretch run or any pass play goes out of bounds. If the play goes out of bounds automatically, you don't have to roll anything. Of course, it goes out of bounds. If you get this result where there's nothing there, but you want the player to go out of bounds and you've taken the modifier, whether it's a run of minus 12 or a yardage number of minus 12, you're going to roll a D20. And a 1 to 16 means that he did get out of bounds. But a 17 to 20, you know, defender maybe made a really good play and, and stopped him from getting out of bounds. So there's it's not an automatic thing. And that's the same with the stay inbounds in the last three minutes. It's got the same one to 16 modifier. Uh, if it comes up here, it says you're gonna go out of bounds. Well, no, you're actually gonna stay in unless you roll that D12 and it comes out at 17 to 20. All right, that's it for offensive special plays. Check out the next video on defensive special plays.